Hello, it's Capture Fail from Grathorn's Games, and this is part two of the Lotro Epic Only Challenge. Can you go through the whole game doing the main story only, not gaining experience in any other way? This is the Silver Deep Mines, which are part of the Dwarven Prologue, but I'll be doing all of the prologues turn and turn about to get as much experience out of epic quests as possible. This is the first real dungeon crawl of the epic, or at least of the dwarven part of it. I have rearranged my skills a little. This quest is just about on level, although, as you see, some of the goblins are blue makes it a little on the easy side and it will get easier leading up to 30th level but then it, the epic quests will suddenly jump from 30 to 37 so the difficulty of the quests will jump and there'll be times when uh, the quests move into the orange and possibly even red. What we're trying to find out is whether they ever go further still and become unobtainable because they're too high a level above you. I expect during this video to start the Elven and Hobbit prologues. That was a stubborn goblin. Oh, I just remembered to mute uh, the game. so that my microphone doesn't pick it up. Sorry if that was a bit echoey at the start. Should be right now. Okay. New level. Make these last goblins just a little easier. I swear these cave claws are here just to uh, confuse your tab targeting. Yeah, and I hit one. Okay, one more. Stone Troll, you had to do the Dwarf Tutorial to see how that troll got turned into stone. Now yeah, I'm mithering quickly back, trying to go through this as quickly as possible, but uh, it, it's not a speed run. I will have to do a lot of jumping about between areas early on. So I want to use as many methods as possible to get that done quickly.
Now I want to set up my potions. sign for now. Don't have any power potions yet. But I'm almost finished the Thorin's Gate part of the, this prologue. When I get sent on to Noglond, that's where I'll shift to the Elvish prologue. Go from the beginning of that. Stone is not in a convenient place. So I haven't used it. Things to sell what and repair. Be to you? Bilbo's old friends, Dwaylin. What do you want? Will you stay and speak with me a moment? This place was Thorin's throne during the time he was exiled from Erebor. As you know from the Hobbit movies, he died in getting the Erebor back. And over in Erebor now is Thorin the Third ruling, but Dwalin, one of the company, has taken over this place in Ered Luin. Shortcut to the stable master. Willie. What do you want? Yeah. He says to go to Nogland, but that's not where I'm going. Now, at this point, that's an edit because I bought a couple of things on the Lotro store. I said in part one where I would wear them at the uh, two XP boosting items. There's the pocket item, token of the Hornberg. and Shield of the Hammerhand replaces your cloak uh, but it gives a 25% bonus including on quests so it's even more useful And I'm going to travel instead to Kelondin. Here we are, Elvish territory. I'm going to start the Elvish 
prologue, which is my character's own prologue. We've got an elf hunter here. Milestone here is useful, I think. So switch from Mosswood. And here's the start Greetings, of the friend. prologue. Will you lend me your ear? So that makes four on my quest list to the right. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. Will you hear my sorrows? Yeah, this is the shortest way I know to the fields of... Uh, what is it? Nenhilith or something like that. Um, won't be doing the Vale Flies quest along the way. That's a side quest. There are several side quests up here, including killing wolves, but not to be done on this run. This area also is part of the elf explorer deed, but there are places in that deed that I have no reason to go to. And as I explained last time, I won't be leaving the path of the epics to go and do deeds. Greetings, traveller. Welcome. Okay. Find the satchel. And there are three possible places it can be. Level seven. Oh, hit from behind. My barb shot with its induction is not good for surprise attacks like that. And they're all coming after me. All I want is a bit of peace to go up to level seven properly. There's the three rings right down at the bottom of the map that show the three possible places. I'll catch up later with the trait points for level seven. And it's not there. It's on the extreme edge of the map. There it is. All right. Let's see if I can escape from these other walls quickly. Can you wade the horse through this pool? Oops. No, you can't. Check in here, and then the milestone well, should come in handy. 
Yeah, back to Cardivore in Kilondium Village. Can't do this quest item because that's a side quest. Gonna just throw that out. Right, now we've got the healing ability or um, what is it? Yeah, the split shot, the first AOE attack. And that's what I'd rather have first. I'll take one point in each, this and the next level. Okay, split shot for groups in front of me. You know, I'll get a bit more in the blue, but I will be taking on some red skills long before finishing the blue. Now the virtues, doesn't look like I'm accumulating anything yet. And I want one that has agility in it. As my first virtue, there's some might down here and will. Everything but what I want must be in the first column. There's some agility. So start accumulating that. Okay, milestone. Grey is the shadow upon my heart. Will you lend me your ear? Okay, we're being sent to kill Pamproush and the other goblins. Now, it's a level 7 quest, and uh, I count it as part of Kilondim, so I'm going to do it before moving on anywhere else. Just sell and repair first. I'm not sure I sell my stuff, or I might even run out of money for stable rides in this very early stage. Because I'm going to be doing more stable rides than a character normally would. In these first uh, oh, about 15 levels, while all the prologues are going at once. So we're going to go halfway to Duelon. I don't think it's worth going up there to tag the Duelon stable. I think uh, if you're an elf, uh, the Duelon stable is already tagged. You can already ride to it uh, without having to pay Mithril. Now, this path to the vineyard usually has quite a few animals on it. Something here. Uh, no, I just rode up to her by force of habit, but can't take any of her quests. I've just got to start wearing down the goblins. 
on the way to Pamproush, boss over the back. <coughs> As I said, it's not going to be long before we no longer see any of these creatures slightly above my level. Up until level 30, they're going to be considerably lower. Wouldn't be surprised if I find myself fighting green things at level 30. Uh, but then when the epic jumps to 37, uh, suddenly they could be on level or even back to yellow or orange again. Just take out the ones that are in the way. There's no trouble finding defilers and sentinels here. Too many up on the rotunda thing behind me. Um, again, it's force of habit that takes me around via these vineyards because of the side quest for them. Uh, but I still think it's the best way towards Pamprouch. Okay. Defiler. <coughs> uh, uh. Oh, down you go. Now it's just the boss. Tab one too many times. Okay. Now the milestone I've used up. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to get hold of the bonus that changes the cooldown of milestones from an hour to half an hour. Uh, and I also will get a second milestone. But I've just gone to my home and uh, that provides me another way to get back to the significant places. But I also wanted to come here to get rid of all the chests that I can't open until level 85 that I was given at the beginning of the character. So one spare chest and throw in six boxes. That will free up some space. You can see from the portrait of Narmaleth that I have other characters that have finished volume one. Um, I could go through that door and turn up in Mordor, but uh, I have no way to get back if I, so I'll do that later, just for the sake of tagging the stable at, uh, was it Nag something? Can't remember. Okay, around to the stable in the homesteads. Moving on from Kilondim. As soon as I've handed this in. I'm 
once again. Sell and repair first. I'll be of service to you. At level 10, I'll start uh, accumulating more. Um, more wear and tear but okay now I've got my healing ability now I prefer to have my principal healing ability on level number zero it's just something I've always done so I'll put the potion on number nine at least temporarily an equal sign is for if I need focus. However, uh, my first two skills My heart cannot sing today. Barbed arrow and blind side are really getting me enough focus at the moment. Will you lend me your ear? But if I'm suddenly ambushed, there really isn't time to I wait for barbed arrows induction time. Okay. Finish with Colondium. What do you need? Now, before I go to Michelle Delving, uh, I want to pick up another teleport capability. I want to get uh, Lalia's Market teleporting for the cost of three mithril. So I'll How can I tag the Bree Stables while I'm here. Right up in the direction of the Prancing Pony. So, Mr. Underhill, frightening my customers and breaking up my crocs with your acrobatics. Seeing um, Barleyman Butterbur Lalia, I'll just grab this token of returning to Lalia's market, which I will be using a lot, and then using Bree from here as a transport hub. It'll be quite a while before that's no longer useful. Now I just want to tag the Southbury stable. And I'll go to Michelle Delving from there. Skip the town hall. I normally would go to... Michelle delving first and pick up the quest to go and see the mayor because that's easy experience but not allowed on this run greetings okay off to the shire Can't even become a member of the, the Bounders. 
because that's a side quest. Oh, and not doing those sort of quests will mean I can't use uh, faction items like the Mathams for the Hobbits. I'll switch the milestone to here in case I need to come back. Now I've got to ride to Little Delving. Up north of Michelle Delving, because that's where the Hobbit prologue starts. It's where you get teleported to after the tutorial if you are a Hobbit. Unless, of course, you've chosen the new Before the Shadow prologue. This wall, this ivy wall here in New York, it really confused me at first. Changed the way you get to this guy. Might I speak with you a moment? Right, back to Michelle Delving for the minute. Not a very exciting quest, just FedExing, but necessary to start the chain. And there's now all five prologues on the quest list to the right. That will drop down to four when the Dwarven and Elven prologues merge and after the old Shadows of Angmar prologues are completed it will drop down to two strands to follow until about level 30. Right, oh, prologue. Good day. Go and see Why Lobelia Sackville Baggins, who is such a nice woman. Right. There's no fast ways to Hobbiton. You have to ride it. Now and then there's a festival that might give you a scroll that takes you quickly to the party tree, but it's the wrong time of year for that. This is Hobnanigan's time. Can't do Dora's side quests here. The shield on my back, of course, is the shield of the hammer hand. It means I can't have a cloak. The other two items you can't see. It's a pocket item and an earring. You saw the earring in part one because I was given it right upon creating the character. Now I'll just take a shortcut down to Hobbiton itself and tag the stable. Now up the hill to Bag End, which has four well-known owners in the course of the book, Bilbo, Frodo, Lobelia and Sam.
Right, the fireworks are on. Happens to come to the party tree at night, so they're visible. Just ride through the party here. And the Sackville Baggins is. thing is to see Wilcom Tunnelly uh, near Brockham Borings. You can see it's orange there on the list so uh, I'll be moving on to other prologues. Won't be back to the Hobbit one for a while. <laughs> 